Shalom, Shalom, part four, part four to dealing with divination. Let's get it. We're going to go to the book of Exodus, the book of Exodus. We're going to go to chapter, let's go to chapter 22, chapter 22, talking about these, these different spirits that roam, up, roam in the earth. And, uh, and a lot of people that have them and carry them, and you're wondering why the vibration by the spirit that they carry is uh, there's a cut in the atmosphere at times, different places you go, and different things or people you meet or people you associate with, even your very own friends, relatives or family, spouse, whatever. Uh, Satan goes to and fro uh, on the earth seeking who he may devour, okay? And then you also have demonic forces that people entities that people actually have uh, ingested it could be through sex it could be through uh, sitting under a psychic uh, having a friend that's a witch and you don't know it or a friend that's a warlock or a family member whatever that has, has, has uh, dabbled into these things and so but watch parts one two three one through three and watch four of course so you know exactly what we're talking about. We talk about divination. When you look at that word, divide a nation, divination. All right? And so sometimes we really need to be walking in the power, the full power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, because ye that live godly going to suffer persecution. You're going to suffer all kinds of things. Uh, just regardless, just for knowing the truth and walking in the truth and being saved. All right? So shalom, shalom. Let's get in this word. All right? Exodus chapter 22 and let's go down to verse 18 thou shall not suffer a witch to live they had witches back then just as it is today just like like apostle paul said even in the new testament that there there, there 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 will be antichrist just as there are now you know thou shall not suffer a witch to live they straight stone this just the witch and they didn't they didn't play and uh Anyway, whosoever lieth with these are just different other little parts of commandments, because it's not just ten commandments, but there's six hundred and thirteen. But there's there's other parts. Whosoever lieth with a beast shall surely be put to death. You got people lying with beasts. You know, they ain't just talking about your dog, little dog, sleeping next to you while you laying on the sofa. They know we talking lie. Uh, you know, yes, and your most wildest imagination. That's what we're talking about. You got folk that's doing that. Not just with dogs, with all kind of uh, beast meaning uh, fornicating with these animals uh, that's sin you know he that sacrificeth unto any god save unto to Yah only he shall be utterly destroyed so those are all into these other gods sacrificing to this and that and if you didn't know you know this is why you can repent you know and be baptized in the name and be baptized also in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and baptized in the name, you know, and repent, and, and then turn from your ways, you know, because some people just don't know. He that sacrificed unto any any God, any God, see what it's saying, save unto the Lord only, he shall be utterly destroyed. Like people thinking, see, he's long suffering that all come to repentance. He's hoping that all of Israel will come to repentance. All right, now let's get it. Thou shalt neither vex a stranger nor oppress him, for ye were strangers in the land of Egypt. So even though, you know, we were called out of, uh, of Egypt, and according to the Bible, the word Egypt means bondage. Even if you go to, uh, just go over a couple chapters to Exodus 20. And God spake on, this is the Ten Commandments, although there's 613, but this is the Ten the tablets and God spake unto spake all these words saying I am the Lord thy God which hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt out of the house of bondage out of the house what does bondage mean slavery okay so that's what so that's what we know okay anyway let's continue with this message uh, let's continue let's stay where we were let's go back to Exodus 22 and let's go down let's you know 20 to verse 22 ye shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child you don't do that don't cause affliction to widows and fatherless children children if thou afflict them in any wise and they cry at all unto me i will surely hear their cry 
So if you try to come up against, you know, I don't have my mom, I don't have my dad. Some of you are the same way, but they might have passed, passed away. You know, you got folk trying to do things. But look at it, even if you do it to the children. Ooh, that's the worst, you know, that have lost their parents. It'd be better a millstone hung around your neck and you go to the bottom of the sea than to hurt the little ones, but thus saith the Lord, the scriptures. That's what he said. He said, if they cry at all unto me, I mean, I mean at all, if they even sniffle, that the most high that he don't like what's being done, you know, you can't do that. You know, you, sometimes, you know, you put, I may play a little something, you know, uh, or do, do a little something for a loved one's loss. Uh, you can't desecrate, people can't, will try to desecrate different things, even back in the Bible days, you know, do things on top of, you don't, you don't interject on something when somebody's going to dedication, you know, to their, to their loved one, to the child they lost or to a parent they lost. You don't put your spirit in the middle of that for your personal reasons. That is really, that's sin. You know, I wouldn't want to be the one, because what does the next verse say? And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword. You know, so anyway, <laughs> you know, talking about the wrath. No, God is love. No, we just saw what the scripture said. And your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. If thou lend money to any of my people that is poor by thee, thou shalt not be to him as a usurer, or neither shalt thou lay upon him usury, meaning interest. So that right there tells you the people of both sides, but the poor people who coming at you with that interest, with that credit card and all that. Anyway, let's get let's get into the topic. I, the, the verse I really wanted was, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. But I wanted you just to see a few other verses in there we're going to go to acts the acts of the apostles let's go to let's go to chapter eight let's go to acts eight get this word get this word so that the devil and his kingdom will be confounded uh-huh somebody say so be it so be it acts chapter eight verse six talking about dealing with these these demons and the people with one accord gave heed into those things which philip said we in acts chapter 8 verse 6 and the people with one accord and that's what we need to be on gave heed into those things which philip spake philip the evangelist hearing and seeing the miracles which he did but that's what he was doing for unclean spirits crying with loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many taken with palsies and that were lame were healed and there was great joy in that city so you know philip's doing these these different things and casting out these spirits them spirits is coming out crying out <laughs> like zombies you know they're coming out but let's read the next verse now we had acts 8 uh verse 9 but see first it was great joy in the city but check it talking about dealing, dealing with divination but there was a certain man called Simon, which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was someone great. So yeah, he's doing his witchcraft, you know, they didn't even know, but he's making it like he's great. But now he sees the works of the Most High, Yah being done, you know what I mean, through Philip, casting them same demons out, you know what I mean, people being healed from the palsy, from all kind of unclean spirits. You know what I mean, now he's now Simon the sorcerer is peeping this thing. Like, not only will I lose my so-called greatness, but look at these demons that I infested up in this witchcraft because he was bewitching the people in Samaria. Let's continue. <clears throat> Talk about dealing with divination because he was giving out that he was somebody great. Now look, to whom they all gave heed. See, first they listening to him from the least to the greatest saying, this man is the great power of God. And to him they had great regard because that of long time he had bewitched them with sorcery. See that? But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ, Jehoshua, Yahweh, Emmanuel, Yahshua, Yahweh, they were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself believed. Well, check it. This, was, this is how they do. You know what I mean? Because some of you got a witch rolling right with you. Yeah, I said that. A witch rolling right with you. And you tell you all excited for the joy. Oh, guess what? Once again, little Red Riding Hood. Oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. 
What big teeth? What big ears? What big mouth? What big whatever? And then you don't even know that's the wolf. You know, you done shared all your bless, all your blessings that was coming to you, all your business, and they waiting for your blessing to drop so they can pounce in with their, be with you with their witchcraft. If you notice, anytime you want to do something with the blessing that has been put in your life, they cut in, they butt in. It's just like dancing. You know, you remember back in the day, jamming? <laughs> Some people laugh at Elder, cut it out. You jamming, and somebody cut right in. You're going to feel it. But yet, this is how they bewitch you. They bewitch you with religious things, with the deception. Oh, let's do this. Let's that. Let's do this together. The, the whole while. They're upset because they're sorcery. They'll even send you things about witchcraft. Like they, they may send you a text or some YouTube video. Look, see, these people was in the witchcraft. I'm not into that. That's ain't that something. That's why we gotta pray against them kind of people. And that very person doing that is your witch. You better wake up <clears throat> or your warlock. Let's continue. I know it gets deep, don't it? Then Simon, look at that. Then Simon believed. And when he was baptized, check it. Now the sorcerer was, got him, slipped up in there and got baptized too. That's revelation knowledge for somebody. He continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. So now he's walking with Philip and he's like, yo, this dude got some crazy power, you know, and has defeated my kingdom. Now when the apostles were at uh, Jerusalem, that were there that had heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they said unto them, Peter and John, who when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. See, they prayed because they saw these people was delivered. Now let's, let's, you know, try to get them to tarry on them and get the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them, only they were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. See what I'm saying? Now that I gave a message on before. Because the Holy, that's see the revelation knowledge for the Holy Ghost didn't come to the people yet. They were just baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. But some people, was you baptized in the name or was you baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? They're just saying, but see, for as yet, the Spirit didn't fall on them. They were just baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's why you need to be baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost to receive it and in the name. You know, and, and there was no letter J before 1600. You know what I mean? So this is why you got to research and have the full spirit and in truth so that you can have be baptized into the whole entire you know what i'm saying uh boy then laid their hands on them and they received the holy ghost and when simon saw that through laying on of the apostles hands the holy ghost was given he offered them money he said man y'all can just lay hands and release the holy ghost i'll give you money for that here it is. You know what I mean? Here it is. Just phony baloney. But then got baptized, walking with them and everything else. And that's how you can see. And I'm telling you, you even got some in your churches and your family and your friends and everything else. When you think it and they tell, yeah, they really preached last weekend, didn't they, girl? Oh, da, 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 da. oh I, you're right. We in the truth. We in the And that's your witch. Beholding all your blessings. And they're going to pounce in. They're going to cut in each time you're supposed to be with. The one that the Most High sanctioned for you. Anyway, some people ain't going to get it. You know why? Because they like that witch. They like that witch. That's their friend. You know what I mean? Or they like that warlock. You know? That's their homie. You know? Until them powers pop out on you. And in part five, I'm going to talk about how them powers pop out on you. But look at this. Simon tried to give money. You know? Give money for this stuff. Saying, give me also this power. That on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. Mm, mm, mm. See, that's that witch trying to get the Holy Ghost and be able to have it in the power. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. So he told him, man, you die. Man, you and your money go die. Go somewhere and die. You know what I mean? Trying to purchase the Holy Ghost and don't even ain't even in the truth, the spirit or the truth. You just want to be able to get them people liking you again through witchcraft blaspheme in the holy ghost and that it's a scripture that says there's no forgiveness to whoever blasphemed it so for you all that ain't in the truth walking around all them people was jumping and dancing in church holy rolling in the, you better be careful you ain't blaspheming thou has neither part nor lot in this matter for thy heart is not right in the sight of god see that repent therefore of this thy wickedness and pray god if perhaps 
he might forgive thee. Mm. Shalom. Part five. Check it out. Coming up.